what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video talking about whether or not pewdiepie is going to get a 100 million subscriber plaque now at the time of recording this video he's about 2 million subscribers away from hitting 100 million being the first ever youtuber to reach this milestone now of course t-series reached this milestone i believe at the end of may being the first channel to reach this milestone but pewdiepie is actually the first person to do it the first solo i guess you could say organically grown grassroots creator to do it he's not a corporation he's not a company he's just a guy who makes videos he's the first youtuber to ever reach this milestone now when t-series first broke this milestone youtube tweeted out to them uh, a congratulatory tweet and they also included a video kind of tracking uh, all the dates with which t-series reached certain significant milestones on the platform and they also included a tweet that told them to make some room on their shelf because they're going to be getting a new uh, trophy so essentially what youtube confirmed is that there is a trophy or plaque for 100 million subscribers and the question is if t-series is getting one will pewdiepie now it's not self-evident right because if we look at the 50 million subscriber plaque or trophy whatever you want to call it pewdiepie was the first channel to receive this and it was a ruby trophy looking thing in the shape of his bro fist emblem but this came at the end of 2016 right he he broke that milestone at the very end of 2016 and we're you know two and a half three years later and youtube is a very different place now and pewdiepie has also gone through his own series of controversies since then now i would argue that a lot of the controversies around pewdiepie were merely mainstream media outlets taking his actions out of context just for clickbait titles and thumbnails and i think most of what pewdiepie has done has been relatively innocent it's just that he's so mega famous online globally that any news outlet that makes a slander piece on him is guaranteed to get uh, clicks and views and everything like that with that being said it's been clear over the last few years that youtube will go to any lengths possible to align themselves with where most of the ad dollars are coming from so it doesn't really matter if the controversies with pewdiepie are significant or not if he did anything or not if he's innocent or not youtube wants to keep their nose clean they want to align with where the money is coming from and unfortunately the money on youtube comes from advertisers and a majority of that money money comes from medium and large sized companies uh, that want advertiser friendly content and content that's friendly for advertisers is free of drama controversy violence hate speech all those things obviously right so over the last few years since pewdiepie received that trophy there's actually been a divide between youtube corporate and the actual creators on the platform and there's no better example to use than pewdiepie himself pewdiepie has been openly critical of youtube and its policies and its procedures as well as their response to things like the adpocalypse and various other controversies that go around and i think that pewdiepie represents the 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 youtuber itself right like he embodies the 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 essence of what it is to be a youtuber because he's the biggest one and youtubers right now are more dissatisfied with the platform than ever because it's clear again that youtube will side with the corporations and with the where with the source of the ad revenue over the loyal fan base because they have to they're a company they're part of google and essentially they feel that they need to align with where the money's coming from rather than giving them a little bit of pushback and saying hey that's what make this that's what makes this platform so great that's what separates it from mainstream media that's what makes youtube engaging all of that they could use in self-defense but instead they choose to essentially just uh, be a pawn for these giant corporations and it's obvious that youtubers and the fans of youtube in general feel this way because every year for the past few years that youtube has released a youtube rewind video we've seen massive backlash why because the videos are garbage right they don't actually cover the largest youtube events they only cover the events that 
YouTube finds advertiser friendly and YouTube itself is really just using these milestone you know videos as a way of marketing their platform to giant corporations that's really what it is everybody can see that at this point I mean the most recent one started with Will Smith like he's the safest thing that you could put in a YouTube rewind video he has no controversies he's a family man he's got kids he's the safest thing you could put there but he's not a youtuber everybody knows that so the divide between the the youtube fan and the actual youtuber and corporate youtube has never been greater and pewdiepie is always going to side with the youtube community with his fan base and with where he came from i mean he's publicly uh talked about and made his own youtube rewind video making fun of youtube and how absolutely garbage they are at doing what what they've done in the past youtube rewind videos used to be awesome i remember when they released youtube rewind videos for like 2013 and 2012 and things like that like they had really cool youtube rewind concepts and it was awesome to see all of the you know youtube communities come together for one video have have you know youtube kind of celebrate these creators and it's fallen to pieces since then because youtube no longer aligns with those people they align instead with where the money comes from so with that being said it's clear which side pewdiepie stands on and it's not the same side as youtube so in this scenario we actually see youtube's star child is is actually an adversary of the platform in, in in general and it that might be too strong of a word right because obviously if pewdiepie hated youtube then he wouldn't post every day he would find another platform whatever the case is i mean lord knows the guy doesn't have to work he could have retired three years ago more maybe uh and he would be fine financially so he doesn't have to do what he does but instead he chooses to continue to do it so he obviously doesn't hate youtube but he has a ton of problems with the platform and th the issue with that is youtube and pewdiepie aren't on the same team and what's more is people know this right fans of pewdiepie know that he doesn't really care for youtube and people who know youtube corporate they don't like pewdiepie because he's kind of a thorn in their side right yes he's the their biggest channel that is self-made self-grown and you would think that they would want to show this off but because they're scared of the few controversies that he's had they can't do that so he's kind of a thorn in their side because they would kind of just want him to disappear right they would rather the number one youtuber uh be like uh rosanna pancino or somebody that's so kid friendly so child friendly so just warm and fuzzy inside they would they would much rather be you know the for the, the hundred million um subscriber plaque they would rather the first one go to someone like that uh in terms of a youtuber rather than pewdiepie but alas here we are and it's kind of an awkward scenario right because clearly these two parties are they've separated at some point in the past for good reason and you know if if youtube gives him a plaque it's obviously just business as usual they're giving him one strictly for publicity they know that there would be massive backlash if they didn't so they're going to give him one because they have to right they don't have a choice they've given one to t-series and they've also given him a 50 million subscriber plaque they have to remain consistent they have to pretend to like his success but deep down we know they don't actually care they don't care about pewdiepie he's not a massive corporation yes he's pulling in views but he's too controversial for them to show off even though he's really not he's actually a good guy they just don't want to take that risk because well because they're bad at their job but they're never going to admit that and like i said if they don't give him a plaque because again they're afraid of aligning with a controversial figure then they're gonna get massive backlash from his gigantic audience and all of youtube who is going to side with him over them right because youtubers and the people who fell in love with youtube itself are, love it because it's not mainstream media even though that's what youtube wants it to be youtube wants to be mainstream media which is hilarious to me because mainstream media was killed by youtube so i don't see the logic in that but again i guess that's why you know i explained in a video prior why youtube is failing and why it's going to fail but regardless i think pewdiepie 
by default is going to get a trophy or a plaque not because youtube cares but because they feel they have to what's interesting is what is pewdiepie going to do with this plaque is he actually going to be proud of it should he even care right it doesn't even matter at this point it's a meme anyway subscribe to pewdiepie has been a meme for months him reaching this milestone is so insane like like the the name pewdiepie is it, it has lost all humanity right like felix himself is n is not pewdiepie they're totally separate entities at this point a hundred million people following a single channel is absolutely absurd it's insane i'm sure that he can't even wrap his mind around it he probably has no idea why he's in the position that he's in like like of course he's got a work ethic and everything like that but there's so many other people who do as well it doesn't make sense right it doesn't make sense how he's here but nonetheless here he is um so he's gonna just take it right he's not gonna just delete his channel why not like why not just take it why not be the the guy who's the guy right but part of me hopes that when he gets this plaque and he gets this trophy that he just kind of throws it out right because it's not significant right the number itself is significant only because it's representative of a fan base that he himself has grown despite the platform itself going against him that's what's significant about it the trophy that he's receiving is merely for publicity it's merely so that way youtube looks good and doesn't get the hate from his community that's all that is again he is not somebody that they care about i guarantee i guarantee you they would rather him disappear it would be easier for them in terms of managing press and media and things like that but he's not going anywhere so here he is they're going to give him a plaque and i hope that he does something interesting with it right because again i think he's guaranteed to get one but i don't think he gives a shit about it right he doesn't care he just doesn't care and he shouldn't care so that's my theory guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe for more videos like this one comment down below telling me what do you think about the scenario do you think that he should be excited to get this uh this plaque do you think he's gonna get one at all let me know in the comment section below click the bell if you want to get notified anytime that i upload uh if you don't want to turn on notifications that's fine just make sure you follow me on twitter and instagram all in the links in the description below and that's that's about it guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace